Hello everyone, it is now time for me to do the last film review of the DVDs that my mate Steve lent me. So he, this is the last one that he lent me, Black Mountain. Although I think it's also called Black Mountain Side, because when I looked it up online it just kept coming up Black Mountain Side rather than Black Mountain. This is not the worst film I've ever seen. But to say it's not the worst film I've ever seen is not a huge compliment in itself, to be honest. It's supposed to be a horror film. It's, it's classed as a horror film online, but it's not really scary. I mean, there's a few scenes in it where, where things happen, and you, I can kind of see what they were going for, I think. But it didn't scare me at all. Um, there might be a few little bits here and there that make some people jump. I mean, there's, there's a, uh, a scene where they have to cut this guy's arm off, and but it's not really scary. So there is a quote on the front of the box which says, The tension is at times almost unbearable. And that's from Rogue Cinema. I have to disagree with that. There is a line between building up the tension and suspense and just plain boring. And quite often this is on the wrong side of that line. It is really dull in places and just waiting for something to happen. This isn't because it's building up the tension. Well, I didn't think it was anyway, where, you know, think what's going to happen, what's going to happen. It's just boring. It's just like, can something please happen? And I was just thinking, oh, when's this going to end? It's only an hour and a half long. It's not an exceptionally long film, but it felt like it went on forever. It's like the longest hour and a half of my life. Um, there are a couple of OK moments in the film. It's not all bad. That's just why I said it's not the worst film I've ever seen. But they are far outweighed by the, just the really slow, dull pacing of the film. I mean, the accent itself isn't too bad. And um, the storyline, it doesn't fully explain what's going on. It's like they found this old artefacts and it looks like uh, there might have been a bacterium which wiped out this old civilization, which is now affecting these people. And it's all very scientific and makes sense and you think the people are starting to hallucinate and hear voices and stuff but then there's this weird dear god character which just looks silly to be honest and it's just uh, I don't know I'm not sure if they knew what they were going for when they made this I mean is it supposed to be like a, a horror based on a biological disaster or horror based on a supernatural thing and I don't think they really knew where they were going with it and People getting more and more paranoid and going crazy and then they just have a gruesome scene just for the sake of a gruesome scene. It's not too bad but it's just there and then it just ends. To me it felt like they ran out of ideas and just thought, hey let's just end it. So basically I'm not going to spoil the ending for you but if you're the kind of person that likes the lived happily ever after, walks off into the sunset film, this is not for you. It, it almost, it does to me feel like they just ran out of ideas and were like, okay, let's just, uh, we, we've gone this far in the film, let, let's just end it. Another thing I've noticed on the front of the box, it says, The Thing Meets Fortitude. Now, I've never seen Fortitude, but I have seen The Thing. And The Thing, the original Thing, is one of my all-time favourites. It's a classic. You can't go wrong with The Thing. This is not like that. I can kind of see why they would put that on here, but at the same time I disagree. It's it's nothing like that. The Thing is a classic scary film with shock factor and gore and it's a good story and that really does have tension and keep you on the edge of your seat, whereas this is dull. It's just, it's too slow and they, they keep, they, they kind of try to show the monotony of life in this camp they were like they're way out um reach of civilization and they keep jumping forwards in time and they show this of like a black screen of the date in the middle and it just skips forwards and forwards and forwards and no nah, i just <laughs> i mean if those are the bits they chose to film i dread to think how dull the bits in between were it's just so i i kind of can't recommend this really i mean it's okay I mean, if, if it was to come on TV, it's late at night, you're flicking through, and it's on, there's nothing better, then maybe watch it. Or if you're kind of slumped on the sofa and your remote control is out of reach, 
and it comes on. It's not the worst thing that's ever going to happen to you if you watch it. But other than that, I mean, it's really... Uh, I wouldn't spend money on it, let's put it that way. But if it came on TV and there was nothing else on, then I might consider it. But, um, so, yeah, sorry I can't say anything better about it. I'm going to be doing some more film reviews of up-to-date films soon, hopefully. I'm not sure what is out yet, so I need to see what's there. If you like this, I really need a uh, subscription. YouTube have decided to change their policies, so anyone with under a thousand subscribers by the end of February gets, kicks out their partnership program, which is me because I'm quite a bit under a thousand and I really don't want to get kicks out of the partnership program, so I need a thousand subscribers. Um, any help will be brilliant. Um, I don't normally like to like beg for your subs like that, but they, you know, they've, they've changed the rules, they've changed the game, so yay! Um, if you like this, uh, thumbs up be brilliant. Check out my other film reviews as I've got more coming up. I've got loads of other things on here, vlogs, random things, whatever I feel like making. Uh, okay, and I'll see you soon. Bye.